So in my last video, I took this old Aspire uh, V5 by Acer, which is powered by an AMD quad-core processor, I believe running at 1.4 gigahertz. And this is an old A6 processor that's a mobile chip uh, geared for ultra low voltage and uh, just sort of saving energy and trying to extend the battery life as much as possible. I saved this laptop because it did have a uh, hard drive going bad in it. We replaced that with an SSD and now we actually have a functioning computer once again. And since this is an AMD chip, it is an APU, which as we know, um, has stronger graphics than the onboard Intel graphics, especially of this generation. So I was wondering how much gaming I could get out of this old laptop. So knowing that I wouldn't be able to run uh, modern AAA games, especially because this computer is running on two gigabytes of system RAM, I decided to target games that it might have a fighting chance of running, that being CSGO, League of Legends, and then I also loaded up Age of Empires 2, the HD remake um, on Steam to see how it would handle a little bit of an older game as well. So let's go ahead and hop into that gameplay and see just how well this computer can handle some games. Okay, so I'm gonna run this computer through a few games. First up is Age of Empires 2, the HD edition there on Steam. So let's see what kind of FPS we can pull with this uh, ancient game on somewhat ancient hardware. Okay, so Attila needs to survive. So playing Age of Empires, you'll notice up here that we have about the low 20s for FPS. But it's weird. I, I wouldn't say this is unplayable. In fact, I don't really notice a whole lot, at least right now, that it's actually running that low. So here I kill Blada and, you know, now I gotta go over here and, and kill these archers. But I wouldn't say that this was a, uh, a bad experience. Once I have more people here in a second to control, I'm curious to see just how... Uh, how well this game will run it should really it should actually run pretty well on this computer yeah and again everything seems very responsive um, I don't think that this uh, 20 FPS is really indicative so much of the computer's power and ability to run the game because it actually seems to flow very smoothly I think that this uh, is actually more indicative of the actual game itself and uh, also, it's completely possible that Fraps just isn't playing all that well with it because I'm not getting any sort of jumping, stuttering, or anything like that. Everything seems very fluid and um, more than playable. So I'm going to go ahead, even though the FPS reported is very low, I'm going to call this a, uh, a win for the uh, AMD A6 and the Aspire V5 from Acer. Moving on to uh, CSGO next. Okay, so CSGO, we're gonna go with, and by the way, the screen resolution here is 1366 by 768. So this is obviously not a high resolution panel, but we are gonna go with low settings on CSGO. Um, and let's go, just go ahead and hop into a game and see how well this uh, plays out. Okay, so just based on observing here, before it even puts me in a game, um, we're running at about 10 to 15 FPS here. So I can already tell you that uh, CSGO is going to be a no-go, even on low settings. If you are able to knock down the resolution a lot and uh, drop settings even more, I don't know, maybe you can get close to 30 FPS. But CSGO is going to be a uh, no-go, as it is just terribly choppy, even just viewing. This is not even me in the game, and it's just crazy choppy, so definitely a loss on CSGO for this computer. So last up here, we're gonna go with League of Legends and just judging from the animations of the uh, launcher client, I'm gonna go ahead and guess this isn't gonna go all that well either, but hey, we'll load up a game and see just what happens. Okay, so again here in League of Legends, we are at 1366 by 768 um, on the very low preset and we're just gonna go ahead and see how this goes uh, here to start the game. The good news is, uh, early on at least, and granted there's no minions or anything roaming around, we are in the 50s, 40s, and now 30s um, on the FPS side of things, so it could be worse, I suppose. Okay, and with minions on the screen and other champions and just generally things happening, 
um, the FPS quickly drops uh, down to uh, the low 20s, the high teens, and you know this is just sort of um, really going to cripple this computer from being able to even play League of Legends without dropping the resolution down even further. Um, which I guess we could, since we're here, we could go ahead and just try dropping this resolution here instead of from 1366. Let's drop it clear down to 1024 by 768. So sure, why not? See how that adjusts things. Okay, we get a very widescreen look. And wow, that is just ugly. That is not a pleasant game to look at right now. So no. I would not even call League of Legends, which will run on a potato, but just not this potato. I would call this also a loss for this uh, AMD powered chip, or AMD powered laptop rather. Um, it's just not going to be good enough to really do much more than some very old retro gaming. Probably run some emulators um, like uh, for the SNES, N64, that sort of thing. But if you want to do any sort of modern gaming, this just is not going to be the computer for you. So hopefully none of you are too surprised with how this uh, AMD chip from uh, yesteryear handled gaming. Uh, I knew that it was going to be a struggle to play a game like CSGO. I was really hoping that League of Legends would be playable, even at uh, very low settings, though we saw that it really just wasn't all that playable. However, Age of Empires 2, even though the FPS shown by Fraps was rather low, it actually seemed very smooth and very playable. So I don't really know if Fraps is getting an accurate read there on Age of Empires or it's just the nature of the game, but the cursor movement was smooth, highlighting was smooth. I would click to create a, uh, a unit in the town center there and that immediately popped up. I didn't feel like there was any sort of lag or latency that I was fighting with Age of Empires. So I do believe this computer can play some older and when I say older, I mean like a decade old and older uh, PC games. It's just not going to get you, even with modern esports games, which are made to run on a potato. This potato just really isn't powerful enough. But I am very curious to know what types of laptops you guys are gaming with. So let me know in the comments down below uh, what laptops you're rocking, what graphics cards, CPU combos, how much system RAM, and also what kind of games you're able to run on your laptops. And as always, if you like this content, give me a like, share, subscribe, and comment down below. All those things are very helpful. You can follow me on Instagram and on Twitter at Hoosier Hardware. They are the same tag for your convenience. And as always, we'll let YouTube queue up a couple more videos from my channel for you to watch. I'm Shane with Hoosier Hardware, and I'll see you guys in the next video.